Edit. Okay, let's begin. Compound, a substance composed of two or more elements chemically combined in definite proportions by weight. Mixture, two or more substances that are not chemically united, such as air. Solution, a uniform mixture of varying proportions of a solvent and a solute. For many of our students, this is the lesson you've been waiting for. I like material science because it's a new and exciting field. I like chemistry a lot, and material science is very based in solid state chemistry. Material science helps me learn what I need to design new technology at the material level. I selected material science and engineering because I feel that it's the backbone of so many different industries and so many different fields. Um, it gives you the opportunity to be in the cutting edge of all kinds of new technologies. The materials are all around us. We um, Understanding materials gives us a better understanding of um, how things work and why things go wrong. So the question is what is material science and engineering? Um, I usually answer that question by saying it's the science and engineering of stuff. Uh, it may sound a little humorous, but uh, everything is made of a material of some kind. Every now and then I get invited to a party. Um, never twice, I don't know why. I don't want to talk to anybody, I just tell them what I really do, which is material science and engineering. They have no clue what I'm talking about, and they just mumble something about filling the drink, and they go away and don't come back. I chose material science because uh, the subject matter was really what drew me in. And then what kept me in materials was uh, the individual attention that all the students get here, and it's very easy to learn in that kind of environment. Whatever you learn in materials, you can apply it to a bunch of different fields. So I've used it in the pharmaceutical industry and in chemical formulations, and it's been a lot of fun. This is the Center for the Plasma Processing of Materials here at Drexel University. It's a thermal spray laboratory where we use various sorts of heat and materials to deposit coatings. Today, we'll coat wooden pencils with zinc. You're about to play a sole 45 RPM recording. But the turntable is set at 33 and a third, and the record plays very slowly. And, uh, let's pick up the tempo a bit, eh? Now let us imagine that you're in the middle of your disc jockey program. Uh, exciting because I get to play with things that I find interesting, particularly nanoelectronics. This is the mark of a professional. One of the core areas of work in material science and engineering, one of the core fields is nanotechnology. Nano, as we all know, is very small. In material science and engineering, part of our task is to actually be able to measure the sizes of small things and measure their properties. One of the tools that we can rely on is what's known as a wire bonder. What Tony's doing actually is to control the spooling of one millionth of a meter gold wire, contact an electrode to a chip carrier that we can use to place in other systems and measure. So what you're seeing here is light from an argon ion laser, 488 nanometers, reflecting off a number of mirrors onto a bench and off of a sample and into a spectrometer. Oh, I'm sorry, I had the turntable at the wrong speed. I selected Drexel University primarily because of the co-op program. And also they have the co-op program, which is really good. I've been able to do international co-ops. I did one in Switzerland. Um, the co-op program is pretty good. It gives you a well-paying job for six months at a time. You make money while you're going to school, and that's always a good thing. I love the city location. Drexel is a city school, which, um, which I like. I'm from the area, so it was, it was kind of a no-brainer to come here. I like Drexel because it's uh, close to the city, so there's a lot of things to do. It's a lot of fun. There's so many things to do in the city. The Art Museum, there's First Friday down in the um, open galleries, down in Old City. Restaurants of any type of flavor that you want in the city. So there's a lot more to do other than just, you know, go to someone's frat house and drink. One of the best things that happened to us as a department uh, during the course of this last year was that we learned that the department, or its graduate program, 
was ranked in the top 10 nationwide and we hope that that brings uh, good benefits to us in terms of students coming to join our program and uh, wanting to explore the exciting innovative field of materials because uh, to quote Madonna, uh, we do live in a material world and there's, there's no two ways about it. From now until your next lesson, we want you to study carefully every section of Lesson 6 and to go back over Lesson 4. Practice carefully and you will be ready for the new techniques and new situations we will cover together in Lesson 5. Back over Lesson 4. Practice carefully and you will be ready for the new techniques and new situations we will cover together in Lesson 5.